Well, hello there. Guess where I am? That's right. I am in a walk in the clouds with Ankush. Welcome to the show again. How are you? I'm good. How about yourself? Excellent. So, walk in the clouds. Um, it's so fun here because you actually get to be like walking in the clouds. So it's a play on words, W-O-K. What is the concept of this restaurant? So Walk in the Clouds is Indian inspired Asian fusion. So it's a take of Indian cuisine, uh, which is more focused on Chinese, Indonesian, Singaporean cuisine. Uh, and it's got the Indian spices with the oriental dishes, essentially. Okay. So I'm looking at this and it's quite an extensive menu. It's not yes. like you only have like five or six things on this menu, correct? There's quite a lot of things. So um, in fact, I thought perhaps we might be in store for something, but somebody has the list. Who has the list? Yeah, the <gasps> chefs are cooking up a surprise. Let's see, <laughs> let's see what we have. Pass us the list. All right. What are we in store for today? So we have a uh, chicken dumpling steamed. With nice. Chili garlic shrimp. Great. Uh, Thai shrimp curry penang. Uh, chili chicken gravy. Sounds delicious. Uh, veg hakka noodles, veg fried rice, chili fries, which is an appetizer, and uh, drums of heaven, which are also known as chicken lollipops. Chicken lollipops, yep. excellent. So are those kind of like the wings, but they're like little mini drumsticks? Yes. Uh, okay, and that's why they're called drums of heaven. heaven. Yes. Lovely. Um, you are a restaurateur with many different uh, concepts all under the same umbrella. So tell us about that. So this is restaurant number? This is restaurant number eight. Okay, number eight. Yeah. Uh, so we have a total of five restaurants in Manhattan, uh, this being the fifth one that we open. Three others are right on this block, actually. And uh, in addition to that, we have three in Parsippany, uh, uh, Chesham by Daba, where we met last time, uh, Daba Express, and Kebabs and Curries. And we're opening another one called Laziz by Daba, which we talked about. Yes, now, um, for our audience that might not have uh, got to visit with us uh, last time, uh, Daba, what does that word mean? Daba is a roadside cafe. It's popular all over India and uh, Southeast Asia. And, uh, you know, essentially there are truck stops uh, across the highways in India. Now, walk in the clouds, right? Um, is there something that you, you know, are famous for here? Like, or is there like, like a, sometimes like a line out the door because you have something that no one else has? Is there something special here that you think really makes this different? Well, a lot of people love the fusion dishes that we have. For example, the, uh, the dumplings, we have them in a tandoori version, which what we do is we skewer them in the tandoor clay oven and in a, a tandoori marination instead of steaming them. So that's one of the dishes which is really popular along with uh, all our noodles and fried rice options. You have chefs that you work with. A little different um, for this type of a concept to have a real chef here. What made you decide with your restaurant group uh, to incorporate you know, the, the talents of chefs? Well, we wanted to diversify the portfolio. I think all our other restaurants were focused on you know, Indian cuisine, where it's you know, the curries, the tandoor items, the gravies, and here we wanted to do something different. And I think with the chefs that we have, they have some brilliant imagination and they really have done wonders. And I know that uh, you know we're here today uh, when we're taping this, and it is a Monday. Um, but this place is always hopping, and you have uh, this is such a great location. So in this neighborhood, you're kind of known you're, for your having your family and concepts in your restaurants here. Yes. So if if you want to have lunch in one place, you could have dinner somewhere else, right? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and families come here like uh, time and time again. It's also a great date place. Right, like a fun date place. Oh, definitely. We try to keep it a you know environment which is open for all different types of crowds and audiences. And I asked you if you had chopsticks here because I think rice always tastes better with chopsticks. And your answer was? So we have them available on request. On request, <laughs> and a squeeze of lime. When somebody wants to open a restaurant, it takes a lot of work, and I don't think people realize that. So we have fans all across the globe. Is there a bit of advice um, that you could offer to them, somebody that wants to open up? A restaurant well I'll, like you said it's definitely people think it's very easy but uh, there's so many uh, complications so many processes that have, you have to go through I think you have to be organized I think that's the most important you have to have a system you have to have structure and you have to have a plan of action and uh, you have to have passion for it I mean you know I, I think without passion it's it's not easy and, and the best people too, Yes. right? Kind of pulling together the best oh, of everyone. You know, because my grandfather used to always say, he was a chef, 
Um, there's a reason that there's a butcher, a baker, and a candlestick maker, and together, everybody wins. Oh, definitely. Our team, you know, that's what makes us successful. The d and, and great ingredients, oh. right? <laughs> is, there, is there like one spice or one seasoning that always makes you feel like home? Like for me, it's toasted ravioli in St. Louis, right? When I get that toasted ravioli and I dip it in the cold sauce, and there's there's something about that that makes me feel like home. How? What is it for you? I would say uh, the term turmeric. Turmeric is something which is used in a lot of Indian food and also Asian fusion. And I think uh, just the aroma and the color that it gives out, it's amazing. It's also good for your health. Definitely. People are now making tea. You yes. know that, right? Yeah, yeah. Turmeric tea. It's good for like if you have, you know, like if you want to lose weight too. Did you know that? No, I didn't know Oh that. yeah, my friend's <laughs> making a concoction of turmeric tea. So for these wonderful, tasty dishes, you might want to stop right here. We are in New York City and we are at... Bum, 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 bum. Walk in the clouds. Ta da! Thanks for watching. And now we're going to dine. We're going to have a fun taste test. Uh, and we are here at Walk in the Clouds. Translation B for enjoy the food. So we would say, Bhojan ka anand uthaye. Okay. Banja. Bhojan ka anand uthaye. Uthaye. Yes. <laughs> I'm just happy to eat. And uh, you know, I would just say, hey, it's time for dinner. <laughs> so please join us. So what do we have here? So here we have uh, chicken dumplings. Okay. Um, they are steamed dumplings filled with uh, chicken. Okay. With a spicy sauce. Lovely. And And what are your favorites? This looks like, is that like a pad thai? Pad thai that, that, or that's noodle a, or? a hack of noodles. Okay. Hack of noodles. Okay. Uh, then we have drums of heaven. Oh, drums of heaven. Which are the drumsticks. Yes, that nice. That we're talking about. We have uh, chili chicken gravy. That comes in a dry version as well. That's our gravy version. It goes well with noodles and uh, fried rice. We have fried rice there. Uh, we have the uh, fried shrimp. We have the chili fries and the uh, shrimp curry as well. Lovely. Okay, so here we go. Yep. You like it? Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's very good. What else should so we try, guys? Should How try spicy the are the drumsticks? Uh, I'd say they're medium, medium plus. <laughs> oh, medium, <laughs> medium plus. Medium plus, okay, let's give it a try. Okay. That almost looks to me like St. Louis, like barbecued chicken. Yes. Yeah, and similar. are you gonna try something? What, do you, uh, what is uh, your favorite? You know what? I will try a drumstick. Okay. Well. This looks really good. Okay. Drums of heaven. Drums of heaven. Yes. Drums of heaven. Not too spicy. Mm -hmm. Actually, this is delicious. Oh, thank you. This is incredibly good. Very, very, very nice. You're right, it's kind of like fancy food with a casual fun atmosphere. <laughs> yes, definitely. I, I understand the concept now. So please come walk in the clouds with us.